He didn't know if he wanted to get on there or not. He might be a keeper. There he is. Oh yeah. Almost getting him. He is a good one. <laughs> we got him in here. He's a little guy, but he was a good fighter. He might, hey, man, he might be a keeper. Not sure. He might be. Got a little one to bite. Easy. <laughs> Black crappie. That's what we're talking about right there. Well, guys, we're going to start out with some crappie poles. I got a couple set out. Some 10 footers. This is a, like a five foot six, and it's just got a jigging minnow on there. That's all we're doing is going to troll these around a little bit i got a 12 footer there seven footer and a 10 footer jigs and minnows a couple different colors and then of course i'll be slinging this old custom beetle spin around it's got a gold perforated blade that's a size two gold blade it's a willow leaf blade i got a 116 oh no that's a 30 seconds ounce jig right there and that is a uh, pink phantom bobby garland jig and a live minnow we're going to start out with that and we're going to see what happens i also have with me right here when i get in some good spots where they nibble and they don't want no more of the beetle spin or something i'm going to sling an old hair jig at them that's a little hand tied jig it's orange and got a little gold and yellow and we got it on the slip bobber here it's about wore out but it's got uh rubber bobber stoppers on there very easy to adjust i I tie that knot as a tight knot. That's a Berkeley uh, trialing knot, and I push it inside so it holds my jig horizontal with the water. See that right there? That way, when it's just sitting there, it's just sitting horizontal like that right there. And then the hairs kind of move on these things. It's got a rabbit fur right there on the back of it, this portion right in here. And it really moves in the water when you don't even move the jig. But I use this action as a pull, stop, and pause. Pull, stop, and pause. Or pop, pop, pop. Them are two good, really good ones to start out with. But uh, what happens is, when you pull this jig, it, li it lifts it up and it flutters down. Lifts it up, flutters down. So that's what I like about this setup, guys. We'll be using this one probably in a... Uh, some places where i get bites but they don't want to bite very good because this is a slower technique and uh you can kind of coax them into biting with that but we're gonna see if we can catch some good ones we'll see there he goes you gonna get on it yep ready got gotcha. you he didn't know if he wanted to get on there or not he might be a keeper go over here and see jig that that one's the electric chicken Bobby garland jig little white crappie i'm not sure oh yeah he's a little over 10 and a quarter we'll take him old crappie might be out here a little deeper yeah we waiting on him there he goes Oh, he'd get this one back here. He's too little. I think he's a small one, but he's a black crappie. Calm down. A little black crappie. Just a little old thing. He's eight and a half. Pretty little crappie. Later. There he is. Oh yeah, 
almost didn't didn't get him because I really didn't expect him to bite. But we got him. And he looks like a keeper. So let's see. There we go. Nope, didn't get it loose there yet. Pretty. He's a black crappie too. It'll be close. Yeah. He is look right at ten and a quarter. We'll take him. There he goes. Oh, oh good one. Get the net here. Well, he's not that good, but he is a good one. <laughs> we got him in here. Easy. Pretty good thick crappie. White crappie. He is, he is a little over ten and a half. Yes, sir, we'll take them. In case you guys want to know how I use this. This is just a sonar. I've never used the live scope. I, I might get one one of these days, but it's just a Helix 7 sonar but you see them spots right there guys that's fish that's directly under the transducer now i don't know what kind of fish it is it could be crappie but you know it could be bass drum it can be anything but um when i see that i keep trolling through them. i troll back and forth through them things like like that right there and it helps me i usually catch a crappie or two every time i troll through them so as that comes on my board I know I'm going the right way. They disappear, I'll zigzag back and forth until I find them again. That's one good way to find them right there. Yeah, a little one. Got a little one to bite. Easy. <laughs> black crop. He got a pretty mark on him. Alright, let's see what he is. Eight and three quarters. Later. There he goes. Oh, yeah. He's a little guy, but he was a good fighter. Alright. Jumped on on the uh, electric chicken with the pink head. black crappie later well guys we got an albert garcia max x10 light spinning reel it's got the 5.2 to 1 gear ratio keeps up with them crappie really nice and we got our spool with high vis mr crappie fishing line at six pound test and we got a shakespeare micro series light action rod these are affordable they got a good sensitive tip they got a good backbone on them I like them, they're pretty uh, durable, and uh, you can get this in a seven footer and a four foot eight. But if you wanna check them out, guys, I got links down below the video, Amazon links for both of these in the description box. Here it goes. Get it, get it, get it, get it, there he is. Not big enough, pretty sure it's too, like about a hole maybe nine easy <laughs> maybe nine if, if he's lucky eight and three quarters later well guys i wanted to go ahead and throw this jig and bobber out there so i could show you what i was talking about on it i like to just cast it out there and let it sit for four or five seconds and then what i'll do is just pull stop and pause pull stop and pause and if there's a crappie in the vicinity and he's hungry he'll jump on it and but you know he may not want it slow he may want it aggressive like pop 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 and stop pop 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 stop pop 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 
stop as crappie and then another one is pull stop and pause pull stop and pause or pop 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 fast pop 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 so you want to just try different things try to get their attention Let's see what that was out there i'm about almost two foot deep on this these crappie are pretty deep well they're they're about four four to three to four foot deep is what i can tell all the fish are i don't know what's i can't tell the difference between what's what but you can see there's some fish in the area all below that three foot line so i'm hoping they'll swim up and find it i, I got these jigs and men still out here so they may still hit that but yeah another way to guys is just a steady roll like this real slow just barely move it that right there is a good technique too you need to try different different things to see what they want and once you find what makes them bite you try to focus on that that uh you know either pop 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 or steady roll whatever makes them bite oh i think i had something bite over here I'm trying to show y'all the jig and bobber and i think i got a crappie trying to yeah yeah he's trying to bite take it take it take it there one more time there he is here's a little one <laughs> he choked it down though man I don't like that he got it pretty good i don't want to mess him up it's too small to keep. There we go. We got him. Later. See if we can wake him up over there. There he goes. Mm -hmm. Oh! Missed another one. There he is. He come back for it. That little guy was hungry. <laughs> he was a hungry little crappie. Well, I'm going to take this off and let you have the minnow. <laughs> Later. Oh, look like old Jig and Bobber might have got a decent one. Maybe. <laughs> well, maybe not. I'm not sure. He's close. Uh, easy. Man, he's too short. Nine and three quarters. We're looking for a 10 inch. Later. Well, guys, it's just about the end of the day, and I'm going to try one more. Try this uh, jig and bobber again right here at the end of the day. See if I can get one to bite it. Just twitching it a little bit. If this don't work, I may pull out the old beetle spin. Try that, but if I can get down that log just right, I'm sure it'll get his attention. The water is calming down as the sun's going down, so that always helps a little bit. Kind of little little short pulls and stops. Pull, stop, and pause. There he goes. Oh, he might be a good one. Can't set my hook there. I mean, no. There he is. Oh, he's a good one. Hey, this will be a good last crappie for the day if I can get my net under him. <laughs> well, I can't believe that. All them little bitty crappie I've been catching all day. And I finally caught a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> now, that's what I'm talking about right there. We, we like that. Get that jig out of there. That's a pretty white crappie. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. See how much this guy, how long this guy is, real quick. 
Oh, oh, we got over the 13 mark. 13, right there. 13 and a quarter. That's what we're talking about. That's a good crop. Yes, sir. We'll take it. Oh, easy. I got a snag and a crappie. Oh, and I lost the crappie. Let's not lose my rod. <laughs> we don't want to do that. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Ah, uh, I was trying some fishing. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, probably just me and Yvonne. couple mm -hmm. she usually eats one or two Hang on. Hang on. I caught a fish 